In this video, I'm gonna make a VR game in just 24 hours, so come join me as we embark on a voyage through the beauty and pain of the VR development experience. Come along now. So you might be wondering, why the flip are you making a VR game in just one day? Like, you have so many days in the week to do this. I'm gonna be honest, I have an assignment tonight that I have barely started, and it's for a VR development class, so I'm gonna just kill two birds with one stone and do that assignment and make a video about it, because I'm smart like that. For this assignment, I'm supposed to create a VR experience using WebXR. This is a Node JavaScript, so it's like a web interface type thing. We're also using a framework called A-Frame to map out all the components in the scene. So no game engines, no Unity, no Godot, just real men doing real men programming jobs, being real men doing football. All right, so using some of the stuff I learned from the first couple lectures of the class, I made a room with a button in it. You can click this button. It doesn't really do anything right now. And a nice thing about this is that you can make elements in the A-frame and put stuff down. But if you want to move it, you don't have to like micro go in the code and stuff. There is some kind of inspector when you do control alt I where you can move stuff around and then just copy paste that code into the JavaScript, which makes it way easier to do. And it's like kind of like a game engine, even though it isn't. I added a light to the scene to play with how it'll look like, and instantly, I was transported back to the year 2007 when Portal released, and I was playing Portal, and I was like, oh, this game is so good, and I was like, goo goo gaga, because I, I was like four years old. Yeah, I'm in my diaper. I love Portal stuff. I decided to double down on the test chamber aesthetic and go with this as my main kind of theme for the room. So as per the assignment requirement, there has to be a way to instantiate objects into the scene, and this didn't work because I don't know what I'm doing. And I kept trying for literally hours, trying and trying. I tried different things. I tried like the A-frame physics system, which made things even more complicated. Cause I was like, oh, why don't I solve a problem? Oh, I can't spawn stuff in. Let me add physics. And the physics didn't work. And I was like, okay, now I have two problems. So I was like, okay, I removed the physics and I kept trying for a couple more hours. And then eventually I figured it out and it kind of works. It'll just spawn a cube when you click the button in the area around you. I have my cube spawner. I have my banana there. I think this assignment might just save my GPA guys. I'm just saying I wanted a little break from programming. So I made a little banana room. That's like kind of a secret. Uh, this was supposed to be kind of like a reference to the cake is a lie from portal, but I didn't want to do an actual cake because that would be like copying or whatever the hell. So I, I chose the next best thing, you know, a banana. As per the next request of the assignment, I have to make a way to delete objects, pick them up and put them down. So I made two more buttons that are just clones. I made two more scripts to drop and delete stuff. It took a little time, but it was a lot easier now after I figured out things more on the other script. So now when you spawn a cube, you can pick it up, drop it. You can also delete all the cubes in a scene. It's kind of finicky, but it technically meets the requirements. So I have now fulfilled all of the assignment requirements and I'm very low on time at this point. But hold your horses, I am not done yet. Get your ass back down on that saddle, your juicy, I love your booty, your booty, because it's time to start audio engineering this bitch. I'm doing audio, guys. I'm doing it. So I hit the studio and got cooking. Hit the lab, you know, got the mic. I recorded an ominous little speech for the player to get themselves involved. Again, inspired by GLaDOS by Portal. I added some cool effects on top. I also recorded the process of me editing the voice so you could kind of see how it would be transformed through my process. But I kind of forgot to record the screen audio and just my mic audio so you can kind of just hear my keyboard and my breathing and finally after 24 hours of hard work this is what the final experience looks like oh yeah and before i show you i don't actually have a vr headset because i'm like kind of broke or whatever so um we're using a phone as a demonstration here beggars can't be choosers hello hello and welcome to the test chamber if you are in this test chamber, that means you have been personally selected to participate in this fantastic test. This test is completely safe and will evaluate your problem solving capabilities. And that's a finished game. Thank you for joining me on my journey of uh, making this horrible, horrible VR game. Please subscribe or I'm gonna come to your house and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take all of your lemons. I'm gonna eat them all like, ah, 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 I'm just gonna eat all your lemons. So watch out, buddy. Yeah. <laughs>